Hello again. Um, this is Charlotte Farce of Matron News. I'm here with Chris Halali. He is an interview activist. He is a uh, congressional candidate for the uh, People's uh, for the uh, Party of Communists of USA as the first openly communist Marxist-Leninist uh, candidate in the United States. And uh, Chris, what brings you here today? What brings me here today? I'm here to support the anti-imperialist struggle. We're here in solidarity with the comrades in CPI, uh, in the People's Party, and in various other organizations uh, and uh, movements uh, to fight against the imperialists and to build a better world for all the people. And can you tell us how you got involved with uh, in the anti-imperialist struggle? Uh, you know, with a father from Iran and a mother from Greece, both having experienced imperialism, both Anglo-American imperialism. Um, I feel that I've always been anti-imperialist, uh, always been on the forefront for Palestine uh, against the sanctions on Iran uh, and for the Iranian revolutionary process, uh, against NATO uh, in Greece and in Europe and in all the wars that have been transpiring uh, since 9-11. So I've always been uh, involved. I continue to be involved, whether it be in Venezuela, Cuba, Russia, China. Uh, we must know that Russia, China, and all of these countries are not our enemies. The enemies are on Wall Street. The enemies are uh, at the Pentagon. The enemies are in Langley. And those are the real enemies of the American people. And uh, and what do you think is, um, what are the, some of the struggles that you uh, encountered as an anti-imperialist uh, organizer? The struggles are the struggles that Caleb has experienced and so many others have experienced, like Nick Brana, uh, the, the attacks, the slander, the defamation, um, everything that comes from the state uh, to destroy our movement, but they won't destroy us, they make us stronger, and we'll continue to fight, whether it be on the streets, whether it be in the movement, whether it be in the courts, we will prevail. And uh, what is your advice to um, to aspiring uh, anti-imperialist uh, organizers um, and activists everywhere? My advice is to go to the people, to speak to the people, um, and to tell them the truth about what the U.S. empire is doing, about what NATO is doing, and to enforce the fact that Russia is not our enemy, China is not our enemy, Iran is not our enemy, Cuba is not our enemy, but the ruling class is our enemy. And the fact is that we have to unite and struggle for a better world for all the people. And that includes Americans, Russians, Chinese, all the people in the world. That's what we need to do. And do you have a message for, uh, for other countries in the world, such as China, Iran, uh, the DPRK, and Russia. Our message is one of solidarity with your struggles against U.S. imperialism, your struggle to build a multipolar world, your struggles to lift your people out of poverty, out of sanctions, out of uh, the grip and the yoke of imperialism from the West, and to build with your self-determination, with sovereignty, and with justice and peace into the future. And where can we find you and find your work? So you can find my work uh, on Twitter, at Chris Halali. Um, and overall, you can just uh, see my website, www.chrisalali.com. And um, anywhere that you see anti-imperialism, we'll all be there together. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.